Hi, this is Glenn, and today we are going to address artist issues with Pro Tools. So again, the artist Night Raven, my friend Adrian, he hit me up because he had another question regarding Pro Tools. Let's check it out. Okay, my second question is, how do I cut the clips when, when you have BPM, when you have the bars, right? Um, it seems to be if I'm trying to cut a clip uh, in the middle or on the side, it will slice off the bar clip, like where the, the, the um, vertical lines go down, right? Um, it's a really bad description, sorry. So how do I like free flow cut the clip if it's like half a second off of the BPM? Um, yeah, I hope that makes sense. Absolutely, buddy. So first of all, we have a couple different grid modes here in Pro Tools. They are hidden up here on the top left corner. Right now we're in slip mode. We have the shuffle mode, the spot mode, which you don't really need. It's a mode for post-production people like me and the grid mode and also a relative grid mode. But don't worry about it. What we need in music production is slip and grid. You can toggle them by hitting the button right next to your Z or Y depends on the keyboard you have. So the slip mode lets you move clips to whatever position you want, right? Doesn't really matter where you put them. They just stay there. However, the grid mode only reacts to the bars of your session. And that means you got to have your session set up so that the bars that are shown actually make sense. And how do you do that? You want to know what BPM the song is you're working in. This track is 82 BPM. So the grids are set to 82 bars per minute. And this is why every engineer is asking you, dude, what is the BPM of your track? I gotta know it. I can find it out, but if you know, it's better. <laughs> if you don't see the grid for some reason, just click on the grid button up here and that will show or hide the grid. If you want to change the value of the grid, you can change the note value, right? So for instance, this is half notes. You can show quarter notes, eighth notes, which is usually fine. Whatever works for you. And if grid mode is on and you move audio events or clips, doesn't really matter, they will lock to those bars, right? Which is pretty cool for editing too. Um, so these guitar parts here are just layers for a background guitar track. It doesn't really matter if I cut off the transit, which you should normally not do. But if you know what you're doing, it's fine. And if you set fades. And so I just highlighted the region before that until the bar and then hit X. So I cut everything right to the bar. And then it starts right when it should start. Super clean stuff. And now that we're talking about grid modes, one more thing for you. So we also have the shuffle mode, right? And it's highlighted red already because it can be quite dangerous. What it does is as soon as you highlight something and cut it by pressing X, everything right to where you cut is going to drift to the left right until the actual cut. This is good for vocal editing in podcasts or audiobooks, whatever, because you don't want to have silence. If I'd be in slip mode and cut stuff, we'd be having silence. But if I'm in shuffle mode and I highlight this section in between, hit X, it all, you know, moves together. <laughs> but we don't want that in music production. So what you want to do is you can lock the shuffle mode. How cool is that? Go to slip mode, hit command on your keyboard and then hit the shuffle mode. And now we have a super small lock right next to it. And now I can click on it, but I can't focus it. So whenever I switch around the modes, it's only three modes left, which is super handy. All right, that's it for now, and um, I'm happy to answer more questions. See you then.